All right, we got some free agent drama lama news. Looking forward to getting into this. The New York Jets, could they bring back Foley Fatukasi and Kendrick Bourne? Could he be the answer for the Jets wide receiver too? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! All right, welcome in. I'm excited to talk to you guys. I got two free agent rumors that we could potentially go over here. The first one stemming from once, one time, a draft pick of the New York Jets, Fularunzu Fatukasi, Released by the Jacksonville Jaguars, saving $3.5 million in salary cap space, Foley had left the New York Jets about two years ago. Spent two years in Jacksonville before uh, being released and possibly coming back to our New York Jets. So do I think the Jets should bring in Foley Fatukasi at this particular point in time? Now, the deal he left the Jets for was a three-year, $30 million a year deal. So I would not advocate for $10 million a year for Foley Fatukasi. But if you can get him for like in the three to $5 million a year range, I think it just hits home in all the right places. Because one, you're bringing back a local kid to the area who is already on our team to begin with and the coaching staff already knows. So I do really like that. I think that makes a ton of sense. I think the fit just makes a lot of sense for him and for us from like a comfort level anyway. And then we don't really have any defensive tackles under contract. We have Quinn and Williams and then you have the ability to shift JFM left and right and inside and outside. And then you have... Clemens, who you can kind of play around a little bit with, but Solomon Thomas, free agent, Jefferson, free agent, Al Woods, blown up Achilles. I think uh, we're going to have to figure out some sort of answer at the interior part of our defensive line. And Foley is, is a pretty good option. And it's, as far as dollars and cents go, I don't think it's going to be crazy expensive. He's only 29 years old. And uh, when I'm thinking of like other players that we were probably considering, I still want to bring back Jefferson, still want to bring back Solomon Thomas. But if this guy could kind of replace what was Al Woods, I'm assuming he's probably going to retire. He's, what, 38 years old coming off an Achilles injury. So I don't think uh, it's realistic to make him, you know, come back at that point in time. But Foley coming back, not too shabby. His pro football focus grades don't seem to reflect the use case of Foley. He had 20 stops this past year for the Jaguars, uh, which means it's like within, I guess, I think it's a yard and a half from the line of scrimmage. That's all you want to use him for. I want to plug him in on first down, the most likely down for running and just eat up bodies. Allow Quinn and Williams to shake free, allow the edge rushers to peel off. I I like Foley. I would definitely be in on this. And I think it's for a, a relatively minimal investment. So I'm in on Foley Fatukasi. Now, as far as some other rumors, heard Kendrick Bourne potentially being an option for the New York Jets as wide receiver too. This coming by way of Andrew Callahan of the Boston Herald. The Patriots have made a new contract offer to wide receiver Kendrick Bourne, but teams like the Jets, Bills, and Rams could look to sign him in free agency if New England can't retain him. That's not the real interesting part. It's the, it's the maybe. The Jets were among the teams that showed interest in Bourne over the last 18 months when, the Patriots, uh, when a Patriots source said their front office received trade calls at the end of training camp in 2022 and 2023. So the Jets and Joe Douglas have seemingly had their eye on Kendrick Bourne the last two uh, training camps, was, weren't able to get anything done. Does he make sense for the Jets and where we potentially want to go? I think it's interesting. He's six foot one, 205 pounds. These are what his grades were the last few years in the league and his stats. Uh, as far as New England the last few years, I don't know really how to gauge it because they really haven't had a whole heck of a lot of quarterback success, kind of like the Jets. But if you're looking at it, 400 yards, 400 yards, 877 yards, and he's sitting somewhere, you know, single digit touchdown, somewhere between generally like four and it looks like seven is the high end there. I would be all right with bringing in a Kendrick Bourne. Obviously, he knows Robert Sala from his time in San Francisco. I think it would make a ton of sense from just a, a culture uh, comfort fit for him as well. And as far as a contract goes, I can't imagine it's going to be anything uh, real crazy. I don't even know. I should have pulled up spot track and seen uh, what it was. Uh, you know, while I'm doing this, let's see. Kendrick Bourne. Let's see what uh, over the cap has his valuation at. So his valuation was uh, $1.8 million for this past year. It looks like his base salary the last few seasons has been hovering somewhere around the 3 to $5 million a year range. So if you can get him in here for like a one-year $4 million deal or a one-year $5 million deal, somewhere in that sort of range. I like him more than I like DJ Shark. And DJ Shark, I was kind of considering as like the one year, $5 million type option for the New York Jets, mainly because of that six foot five frame. And because his wide receiver coach is from Carolina that he played with last year is now the New York Jets wide receiver coach. 
So I could see that possibly being something that they they poke around in. But Bourne is definitely a far more productive receiver than Shark has been the last bunch of years. So I would be on board with this relatively minimal uh, financial commitment. This is basically who I would want every single one of Lazard's snaps going to. Like if Lazard doesn't have to take another snap as a New York Jet, it's okay. <laughs> or only in a backup capacity. Now maybe Rodgers somehow makes Lazard not look as bad as he did this past year. And maybe this is all, you know, water under the bridge, but the Jets need a number two wide receiver. They got to bring someone in. I, again, I don't necessarily see Bourne as a two. I think he's a, he's a fine two. He's, it, it's not, it's obviously a pretty leap, pretty big leap down from like the, the dreams of New York Jet fans having a Mike Evans or a T Higgins or a Michael Pittman or, you know, any number of these wide receivers that you're kind of considering. It's, it's not that level of signing in my opinion. Now, maybe you can argue with a little bit more targeting and with Aaron Rodgers here, he's going to perform significantly better than he did. Uh, and I think that's fine, but uh, I don't know. This feels more like a potential replacement for like a, a Lazard <laughs> for all intents and purposes. And I don't know if it's necessarily like a huge upgrade, but given how bad Lazard was this past year, maybe it is just that. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you want to bring Foley back into the fold? And do you want to see Kendrick Bourne end up as a New York Jet? Is that a satisfactory enough signing for you if we can maybe use a draft pick on another wide receiver or weapon or something like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like and subscribe button on these videos. It goes a long way towards growing the channel. And then occasionally get sponsors like this. So if you want to help support the sponsor of the channel, or maybe just get yourself some cool gear or some good discounts, you can click the link in the description down below. Today's sponsor, Crescent Canna, is going to give you 25% off your order using promo code JETSTALK. Link in the description down below. They've got gummies, THC syrup, THC seltzers. I just discovered these things. They are incredible. <laughs> As someone who has been trying to cut down a little bit of their alcohol consumption and not, you know, maybe feel as crummy the next day. This has been a godsend for me. Keep me nice and calm, cool and collected, especially with all the hurdles that our jets throw our way and all the headaches that we got to deal with as fans. So if you guys want to help support the channel, maybe get yourself a little bit of a discount as well. Support the sponsors of the channel, Crescent Canna. Thank you so much for watching the show. <laughs>